No, if you have like, if you have like a thousand people in Times Square, you have a thousand Pokemon flying around doing their stuff. You have the lightning thunder. Just the entire, the entire Times Square will just be a gigantic sphere of just, bah. Hello and welcome to Insert Name of Show Here, aka Inosh, a show where we take recent commercials and rip them asunder. We don't go after the product nor the host company themselves, but instead pick apart how they are presented to us. I am Ao Xander. And I'm Batman. And uh, we are be going to be watching uh, Discover Pokemon in the Real World with Pokemon Go commercial. It's a commercial that's been out for a while and uh, actually kind of violates our rules you know, because we want to stay fresh with the commercial, but we're staying fresh with the times. So, with that said, um, it, with all this Pokemon Go stuff, which I've been waiting to sign on all day, as you can see there, waiting to sign on, because I don't sign on at 1 in the morning with any of you crazy buggers getting on and being on all day and locking us all out. You guys need at Pokemon Go need to get your servers up and going. But anyway, that's the end of my rants. Uh, so, uh, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Alright, let's watch this. Oh, and I've never seen this one before. Yeah. He's never seen this. <laughs> yeah. Because he's fancy and he only watches televised entertainment programming on, um, Netflix. Don't knock Doctor Who. Anyway, <laughs> let's, let's start this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's just looking up and around. Yeah. That is all he is doing, alright? I have seen people play these Pokemon Go things, alright? You realize that their eyes are glued to their screen the entire freaking time. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Alright, really? <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, that's definitely hype. They're going all over the world, though. Okay. Alright, but I'm not gonna buy a plane ticket to Australia just so I can have a snorlax. I'm having a battle. And by the way, this commercial is just a warning as to the chaos that this will cause. <laughs> if, if you notice, there's actually chaos there. Yes. Okay. This commercial is a big warning to everyone. Like, everybody is just in this otherwise quiet court. They're just screaming, Yeah! Yo. Go Charizard! It's just, just like, what the freak is going on? Like, nothing's happening. They're, they're all just like in a giant circle in this park. Oh, watch this. Yeah, Alright, I really to the hope too. that Times Square does that at some point. Boss that battle. would still be fucking awesome. Boss battle. That would... Please, no, watch this. Everybody's rushing in. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's life. It, it's wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about Windows Phone? Why, why, why are we the ones that are always left out? Uh, why, I, all right, let me, let, let, let me explain something. Let me explain Steve something Steve Jobs is dead, and Bill Gates still gets that sweet Windows 10 money. But think about Apple, the corporation itself. I don't know. All technology companies are crazy shady, but, I mean. Man, I teared up. That was beautiful. 
I mean, I suppose so. I mean, to me, it just was an over exaggeration of what you're going to be getting, which, I mean, technically, I suppose, is false advertising. I I'd played Pokemon since before you existed. That's probably true. How old are you? 23. So, six years old. No, I wasn't here. You'd existed for about three years. I was at least 11 or 12 years old before I came out here, and I was out in, in the apartments over there, and I attended that elementary school and then somewhere like I, I either went no I I did eventually move into the house in the summer between the end of elementary school into middle school where I went to that one middle school where I eventually got stabbed but like um, the uh, the first Pokemon card I ever got was a a ghastly I believe it's the ghost Pokemon that's like the ball and it was a card and some kid at uh, at the at the school, Glen Knoll, um, which is out, you know, in my neck of the woods, I uh, some kid gave it to me, and then that's what started it all. And then shortly after, the cartoon came on Tully. I remember that. God, that was the that was such a phenomenon. But anyway. That's uh, that's about all we have for now. It's man, we talked, we spent less time talking here. You have any final thoughts? Final thoughts? Yeah. Well, just, it's 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 just interesting what they're gonna try to do with a comeback because I mean this is really the best move. You know, speaking about this to leap on this market in such a phenomenal mm -hmm. way. I mean, I'm I'm honestly surprised they didn't do it sooner. I thought that it was gonna be here something you know, right after Snapchat sort of thing, you know, where you start being able to draw within it. And you know, what, common sense. You know what would be awesome is if and when we get hol like holocron, they are holographic technology, like they have in Star Wars and everything. Like you've seen pictures of course on right. They have billboards everywhere, and they're all holograms. Yeah. What if like in in big cities like you know New York, Los Angeles, you know, um, uh, you know, other big cities. You know, all over the world, they have hologram technology, and then when there's a boss battle, the technology hooks up to a like a a section of the um, or like a the 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 section of the um, information stream of that area for Pokemon Go, and then it reads everybody's Pokemon and it holographs the fight in real life, so you're not watching it through your phone. It's it's there, using all the billboard lasers, all the billboards go. That's part of the events. The billboards go, all the phones play the ambient music, and then it all starts. That'd be cool. That would just be... Oh my god. I think I should be marketing for them. Yes, develop that technology first. Develop that technology, Pokemon Go. I know you can do it. I, 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 I have no doubt at some point that is what it's going to evolve to. That would be awesome. I mean, they're already trying to do the same thing with Yu-Gi-Oh. You know? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. Just and something. that was really, remember I was telling you about this. I mean, that, that was really designed for oh, this yeah. sort of experience. I mean, Pokemon Go is great for true augmented reality where you're not looking at your phone or anything like that, but you actually have the holograms appear right there, mm. right? But... When you think about it, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! was a lot more of the you plug it in and then a hologram yeah. comes up. You know, the battlefield appears out of nowhere. Basically. Yeah, well, like it's very simplistic. It's like it's like uh, in a style. It's that old original RPG style, where yeah. everything's turn-based. Everything. No, if you have like, if you have like a thousand people in Times Square, you have a thousand Pokemon flying around doing their stuff. You have the lightning thunder. Just the entire the entire Times Square will just be a gigantic sphere. Of just, bah! That would be amazing. That would be something. To see. That would be just that would, that would be something berserk, dude. Because that's also three dimensional. So you you see you see a hologram of Mewtwo coming out. He's flying right over. He's like, whoa! You know, he almost knocked my head off. It's crazy. Well, I think that's all. Those are all the thoughts I have. Yeah. Well, anyway. For all of you and all of us, uh, before I do that, uh, you can um, 
Once again, it is the uh, Discover Pokemon in the Real World with Pokemon Go commercial. Once again, you can check the underbar for links to the original video, the host channel, and various other links you may find interesting, including this, uh, this uh, YouTube's Facebook and stuff. Anyway, for all of you and all of us, I am Xander. And I'm Batman. And uh, that's the show. Don't forget to rate five thumbs and subscribe. Toodles!